Okay, for this video, I'm going to do two ombre cups. I've got two different turners that I'm kind of trying out, and I've got two orders for one person, so it seemed kind of perfect. So you've seen me do white wedding, I do believe, in the past. It's just kind of your basic white, kind of silvery sparkle. Some of them do have another color shift um, to them. And then this one's called Poo's Honey. It's a really pretty gold iridescent. So that will be one combo. And then this will be another combo. This is Aladdin Chunky. You can't really see it as much without opening it up. It's so pretty. It's not really holographic. It kind of picks up a little bit of blue cast, but not very much. So I've got 20 milliliters of epoxy mixed up. We're going to see how far I can make it. I might go a little too slow on this, but I'm just going to give it one more little swoosh around. Scrape your sides really good. Get the bottom really, really good. So for epoxy method application, you want your layer on your cup to be super duper thin. If you've seen my other videos doing this, you already know that. But if this is your first time seeing one, now you know. If you don't get it thin enough, you will end up having to go over it and over it and over it to get good coverage. Otherwise, you end up with these little flat spots. I've seen some, uh, uh, some tutorials where they literally pour two milliliters on the bottom and it's hanging on like a stick or something. And uh, they take a silicone brush, which I have one that I can show you. Something like that. And they just go to town spreading that over the cup. So I'm kind of going easy on this. I've not used this turner for a cup just yet. I like it because it's spring loaded, but um, I'm not sure how much pressure I can do just yet. The reason I mixed up 20 milliliters is because my goal when I have leftover, I've got some new earring molds that I bought off of Amazon. I actually posted a picture of um, the ones I did first. Uh, it's in the community tab under probably posts or something. I know what it looks like on my side, but I don't know what it looks like on the other viewer side. I think it's under the community tab for my particular channel. My goal is to try and make a set of earrings for my coworkers for Halloween, or <laughs> not Halloween, good gravy, this is January, for Valentine's Day. I made a set the other day from a new glitter I just got in called Amour. It is so pretty. It's pink, but it has a green color shift. If you've seen any of my other glitter application videos, you already know that I like to go a little heavier handed in the areas that my colors are coming together and also where my chunky is going to go. I just, I like having that added grip in those sections. And I'm totally fine doing extra work to cover it and fill it in and all that good stuff. So I've got the top part really thin. Like it's really a struggle to scrape my finger across it. So now I'm going to go down here. and just kind of lay it on a little thicker. Make sure you're working over a surface that's protected or a surface you don't care about. I've seen posts about people that do this on their stove top and how stuff got epoxy to the stove top and how it shattered when they tried to remove it. That would be terrible. When you're working with Chunky, there's a couple of tips and tricks that I've kind of figured out along the way and picked up from other cut makers. Um, about 30 minutes after it's been turning, where it's had a good time to set up a bit, if you go and pat it down, some people use wax paper. I've seen some people comment that they 
like take the cup off and wrap it in wax paper. I don't get the appeal of that because that is one more step and that is just me risking screwing up that cup. So what I do is put on a clean gloved, uh, a clean glove and pat it down myself. Sometimes I use my little spatula. I use that thing for everything. I use it for my glitter scooper, my scraper, my glitter patter downer, everything. I love that thing. This is kind of slow going. My lighting's not so great right now. I had to use my light for my other light for something else. If there are any air bubbles in here, I'm not really worried about it because you're not going to see them. We're going to cover them. I will care about it whenever I get to the top part. I got a completely bare spot right there. I do care about when we get to the top coats. I'm not going to go every single step of this cup right now. Um, just because I'm on kind of a time crunch on getting these orders and recording may not be conducive to that. But when you're done with your chunky, after everything cures, you've got it patted down like you want it and everything looks amazing and right with the world, you clear coat the crap out of that thing. From what I understand, glitter, uh, chunky glitter has something on it that prevents it from sticking, which makes sense because chunky glitter stuck together would just basically be a chunky cube and nobody can play with that. All right, so that's that. I'm gonna grab my other turner really quickly and go ahead and do that epoxy as well. Just because, like I said, I'm doing both of these in this video. So one spot that needed a touch up there. Okay. So I have the um, paper towel on here because I wanted to not get spray paint everywhere. I'm just going to take that off real quick. Shove that back down in there. I just got this turner um, assembled just a little earlier. You probably already saw that video in the feed. I've actually emailed the company and asked them if they had, if they cared about suggestions. So I could, I just want this to turn the other way. I'm so used to doing things a certain way that when I change it up, it's so weird for me. This is way too thick. Okay, I'm going to spread the crap out of that thing because it is on there so thick. So on this one, obviously my purple glitter will go on it. But um, sometimes when I can, I like to do a base paint that's kind of close to the color that we're going to use. It just helps that in case there's any bare spots or even if it's not a bare spot, if it's just a thinner spot, it just helps kind of camouflage that just a little bit. Kind of a little tumbler hack thing. I think I'm going to put some non-slip grippers on this cut, uh, turner. I feel like this is already starting to cure. I don't know why it's so thick all of a sudden. I literally mixed it and then hit record. This might turn out to be bad. We'll see. <laughs> this is bad. Yep, yeah, this is already cured a little too much, but I think I can still work with it, but we're gonna find out.
go ahead and use this thing, see what happens. <laughs> oh, it's a nightmare. I had a wet spot right there. Okay, this one gets put aside. We're not doing you today. Not right now. So we're taking this one over here. We're gonna get back to the other one that actually is ready uh, to glitter. I'm gonna use a different piece of wax paper to catch my glitter. I like my glitter catch pans, but sometimes they're a really big pain in the butt to clean. Sometimes I just don't feel like spending that kind of time. So we are going to do white wedding to about that right there. And you don't have to be shy. Put on as much as you want. Because when you run out, you just pour it back in the canister and go back at it again. The only reason that would be a problem is if there's a lot of other, like, cross-contamination, you could say. Like, other glitter cuddlers that got mixed in or whatever. Like a weird little something right there. It's like a almost like a glue booger. So the person that ordered this cup actually ordered five cups at Christmas. And I'm hoping that I'm getting this even remotely close. Because I don't know if the people that the last two cups are intended for will ever be around the other people where if they accidentally set them side by side, it might look funny or what, but I didn't want to steal one from her. So we're just going to wing it. So I just poured that back in my shaker there. And I'm just going to give this one more eyeball here. Oh, there's a stray piece of pink glitter. That could have been on the bottom of whatever I used for my catch the last time. Could have been on the bottom of this one too. Even though I did clean my counter like two days ago. I saw this hack where if you used slime, whoa, you stuck to the cup. If you use slime to clean up your glitter, then it's like amazing and so easy. I call bologna sandwich because all it did was stick to my hand, not, not the cut or not the slime. All right, I didn't shake this off enough. There we go. All right, I just got that off of there. I can see it kind of raining underneath. And this is the one that gets the gold. Just nice and heavy. You're gonna pour back anything you don't need. Yeah, there's definitely no way I can do that other cup because it will um, be way too hard. This epoxy cured way too fast. I've got a heat lamp on my epoxy bottles right now and I'm pretty sure that they were too hot. So I, I think that probably sped that along. I did that to myself. I've done it before. You'd think I'd learned my lesson, but nah. I'm just kind of filling in any spaces that I see on here. This one's nice and full, so I don't have to worry about dumping it back in quite yet. As this is turning, I'm also watching here to make sure that I don't have any like spots that look like oil slicks or anything like that, like I had mentioned earlier. So 
So earlier when I was doing this, I kind of left it a little thicker than the usual from about here down. This is so that it will hopefully soak through a little bit. We're gonna get our bottom in just a minute. I've been known to, if I wanted a little like extra, almost like confetti or debris or whatever you wanna call it, a little float up. I've also been known to spray it with hairspray and then kind of sprinkle it real gently again. Kind of give it that little less defined edge. Okay, so that's that. I'm gonna use my thing, I'm gonna sling it. This is, it makes me think of like slinging hay in like every country movie that you see some farm boy doing something. Kind of stupid, but it makes me chuckle. Everyone does it a little bit differently. After I'm done with this, I'm going to take that other cup and just go ahead and strip it. This is not doing what I want because it's, again, I'm just going to do this really quickly. I'll shove it on there. I think I got my epoxy a little too thin. This is what I'm doing here. There we go. A little thinner than I wanted right here. I never realized that this had clear chunks in it. It's kind of cool. I'm farsighted, and so some days, if the lighting's not just right, and now that I'm 40, which that reality kind of sucks, um, it, it's, I can't see super duper fine detail without my glasses on. I tried contacts, I just, I can't, I can't stand the feeling of them. Even after wearing them for days, it just never goes away for me. Okay, so you can see there, that's pretty good coverage there. I've got pretty good coverage throughout the cup here. So we're going to let that cure for about 30 minutes. And I'm going to come back out and tap it down. Just like that. And then once it's completely cured, we're going to clear coat it. Sometimes that's when I actually add in my sprinkles. With the clear coat. All right. We'll be back in just a minute. Ah, that was blurry. Man, y'all gotta tell me that. <laughs> Anyways, that's weird. Whenever it was out of focus, you could see all the different colors in the holographic, but whenever it's zoomed out like this, it's not nearly as obvious. Let's do that again. Ah, it doesn't want to do it. Focus here. Ah, now it's actually playing nice. Okay, we'll be back in a minute for the next step. So this has been turning for about 30 minutes, give or take a few. It's actually pretty flat already, but I'm gonna go ahead and smooth it down a little bit more just because, <laughs> just because I can't talk. Uh, when we go to put our next layer of epoxy on there, the more jagged chunks you have sitting or poking up, the more problem you're gonna have with getting it smooth. So I like to get kind of eye level with it. You probably can't see my face, but that's okay. Um, and just tap, 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 kind of get it down. Lay it down nice and flat. This doesn't need a lot, but that makes all the difference. I'm very lightly tapping it. You can barely, I don't really have any glitter on my finger. I'm using that finger right there. If you dab it too hard, you're likely to slide your glitter around and have to go back and touch it up. And if you do end up with some kind of bare spots or whatnot, it's super easy to go back and uh, touch it up. You can just do a little Mod Podge. I actually had to do that 
in the cowhide water slide tumbler that I did a couple months ago. All right, so that's pretty good there. My biggest challenge tends to be right here. I'll switch fingers because my finger's getting kind of sticky. Um, I feel like I have a hard time getting this part super smooth and flat, but this actually looks really good right now. Just gonna tap the bottom. Okay, so that's that. Just got one spot coming around that I need to touch up right there. And I'm just looking at it eye level because then I can see what spots might need some attention. Now some of them will lay down when it's up here, but kind of, kind of like when you're hanging upside down, how your hair gets long or hangs upside down. It might hang down here, but lay flat here. That's okay. As long as it's um, laying flat overall, then we're in good shape. I'm gonna wipe my fingers off here. I just wanna do a little touch up around the rim here. I'm gonna use a different finger so I don't get gold. So I'm gonna just kind of, I'm doing this motion here to bring any clumps away from the rim. Don't really have much to contend with here. Yeah, it's pretty good. So once this is done curing, I will Take it outside and shake it off really, really good. I don't really feel like I need much sprinkling up here because I do have a good amount of uh, gold fine. It's okay that there's not any chunky up there. Her other cups didn't really have a lot of float up. So when I, when this is done curing, I will clear coat the heck out of it and then um, do my next layer of epoxy. But I won't record those because they're kind of redundant. It's kind of the same thing as what you've seen in probably any other video. So if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to leave a comment. I'll be glad to answer them. I'm not an expert. I've just made a lot of mistakes. I still make mistakes. You just saw it in the beginning of this video. Um, I still make mistakes, but I try and learn from them. Sometimes I don't because, you know, I've done that before. Let my epoxy cure too fast. Please subscribe to my channel. You'll get notifications of whenever new videos upload. And um, if you have any comments, let me know. I'll be glad to answer questions, like I said. Have a good one.